there, my name is John Arnold. Um, I live in the northwest of England. I have a wife and two small children and a small family printing business. I have a passion for photography and the two things I love most to do are learning and teaching. As a kid, I was led to believe that you could either be a science kid or an arts kid, but not both. Uh, and I was a geek. I loved computers and gadgets, so I studied physics and maths and computing. But even as a kid, I remember I railed against this idea that I couldn't also be an artist. I took and failed O-level art at school, and that might be why it took me so long to get back on the horse and have a go at making real art. I've always loved photography. Um, I took a lot of pictures as a kid. I had one of those little 125 Instamatic cameras. Took loads of pictures with it. Absolutely loved it. Um, but it wasn't until I got a digital camera that I really started to connect the dots and realise that that might be my way into making art. But even before I got that digital camera, I remember uh, at my workplace, one of my colleagues told me that, um, that he didn't believe that as, as a sciencey guy, I could ever really make proper art, that I could do anything that was truly creative and artistic. Now, I'm kind of arrogant this way. I feel like I can make a good old stab at just about anything. So I started to study. I, just, I studied design, I studied typography, I studied color theory. And then eventually, when I did finally get a digital camera, I started to realize that this was going to be the tool that allowed me to take my technical bent and allow me to apply it to something that would allow me to exercise both halves of my brain, the creative side and the technical side, and really become both the artist and the scientist. In 2006, I started a website called photowalkthrough.com and that was sort of a happy accident. I, uh, I was taking part in a photography competition which uh, required me to make a photograph that was in the style of Ansel Adams and I made a photograph that I was pretty happy with. It didn't win or anything, I think it came third or something like that. Um, but a lot of people asked me how I'd made it, how I'd done the post-processing so it had that black and white Ansel Adams-y style. And so I tried writing that down and it was just way too hard doing all the screenshots and trying to write step-by-step -step instructions. That was just a pain. So what I did was I made a video. Uh, I found some screen recording software, which at that stage I hadn't paid for. Um, and I recorded a video showing how I'd done this, this uh, post-processing step by step. It turned out to be something like five hours long. It was ridiculously long. And I'd used all sorts of tools and all sorts of techniques, that many of which have now been replaced with better tools, of course. Um, but I made that video and I put it online and lots and lots of people found that useful. So uh, I made another video and another video and eventually Photo Walkthrough grew out of that. And I started to find that people were interested in learning from me uh, because I was so, I, you know, I've, I've always believed that everything I've learned is public domain. Everything I know should be something that everybody's allowed to know. I don't keep secrets. I don't, I don't have secret techniques and workflows that only I know. I like to give everything away because there is so much more to making art than simply knowing a technique. There is, there is taste involved, there is, uh, um, there's a dedication involved, you have to practice, you have to look at a lot of artwork, you have to really come to decide what it is you love and what you don't love in order to inform your own artwork. So, uh, so I made all these videos and that led me into classroom teaching. I started to do some presenting at camera clubs, I started to do, to do talks and things. Um, I did classrooms, I did workshops and recently I've started doing webinars as well. And uh, the thing that I have really learned about myself, and this was a total shock, I've been a programmer most of my life. Uh, photography has been, has been my passion, but I'm, but I'm a geek. Um, and I've never had any teaching training at all. But I have learned that I love teaching. I love being an educator. And it's not just photography either. I, uh, I teach uh, little kids programming uh, in a couple of local schools here. So it, that's just because that was important to me as a kid. I loved that when I was young and I hope that kids today are going to get the same kick out of it that I did. So I love working with people and helping them develop their love of something. Uh, photography is wonderful in this respect because there are so many people who are already passionate about photography and just want to take it and do more with it. They want to get more creativity into their work. They want to find their style. They want to really make something that's worthy of putting on the wall. And so um, I, I have found that one-to-one -one teaching suits me very well. It doesn't scale great, but, but boy oh boy, it's rewarding when you make something uh, with somebody and, and together you've found something that they truly, truly love doing 
and that they can continue to do for the rest of their lives. There are some amazing, inspiring photographers in the Arcanum. Some of my personal heroes are masters here, and I'm honoured and a little bit scared to be rubbing shoulders with them. But I think a lot of us feel that way, and that's because we see all of our own work and only the best of theirs. As a master in the Arcanum, I can teach you about how the buttons work on your camera, I can teach you about setups, and I can teach you about lighting, and I can teach you about where to go to take the right kind of pictures. I've got a good background in all that classroom training. That's great. But the thing about the Arcanum that makes it special is by working in a smaller group, it allows us to work one-to-one -one or one-to-a-small group and really analyze what it is that each individual brings to their photography and what it is that each individual loves. And by finding that out, we can really help you to concentrate on that in your practice sessions and really develop your personal style and bring out your particular voice in photography. We're going to do that through practice and critique. And these are two sides of the same coin because when you critique someone, you analyze what it is they've done, you figure out what it is you like and what it is you change. And then by writing that down, by giving that critique to somebody, you're going to crystallize your own thinking about what you like in a photograph, what you enjoy, what, what it is that you then want to apply to your own photography when you go back out and practice it for yourself. You're going to find that giving critique is way more valuable than receiving it. I absolutely love photography. But even more than that, I love working one-to-one -one with people and helping them to develop those things they love. That's why the Arcanum is going to be special, because it really gives us an opportunity to connect and get to know one another and really work hard on improving what we love. I'll see you there.